Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 19 of the Aqua Top and White Sands. Just gotta get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So yeah, this should be today, like what, her first day on her new project? Oh. Oh! <gasps> oh my god. Stop it. But we are going to see, you know, Fuga, not Fuga, Kukuru, do her new thing today, right? I mean, because, you know, last week, we got an answer on it. This week, we're going to see, you know, probably maybe her working behind the scenes, being able to get that ish that she's been wanting ever since the start of the second half of the show, and ish, and then, you know, her going to her best of the abilities, yeah, struggling ish, because we are so close to the end of this show, and I hate that because I don't want this show to go. I love this show too damn much. But by next week, we'll be on episode 20, and we'll have like, I think, five weeks left. No, four. 20, no, today. No, no, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, today made five weeks for this episode, and then next Thursday, we'll make four weeks. Four or three weeks. I was miscounting on that shit. Seriously? Oh, my God. Oh. Poor baby. No, no.
So, yeah, it'd be okay. Puka should be fine. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you'll do fine. I mean, yeah, it's been a while. True. Rupa. still secretly kind of miss it, don't you? But you feel for Ruga. Hmm. I mean, come on, we all knew that everyone was going to come. <laughs> yeah, got a new project. But you don't miss it.
so that's why she feels that way. That's just so pretty. Mm. It's a nice title for an episode. <laughs> oh, it looks so cute. Pressing the damn button. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. I mean, but it's okay to add love from time to time. You weren't bad. I mean, yeah, it was mainly because crowd-ish and everything, but you still did good. Your shoes. And besides, those shoes are gorgeous. Oh, my God. So, you have them. For baby. Oh my god. Oh. oh, you want to try again? Go on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah, true. Sometimes you just need a little push. I know she's come so far. I'm so proud of her. That was cute. Oh my god. But really, this for a Fuka focused episode. Oh my god. This is so good. I mean, to see someone once again from her past, especially it being Ruka, like, oh my god. Because the last time we saw her was just like a moment between them two, and then that was it. And I'm thinking we were never going to like officially like get somewhat of an introduction with her and such. But yeah, thank god we did. 
it was nice to see that. It was nice to learn about, you know, Ruka's backstory and it's for a little bit and especially for just an episode. But to see what Ruka has to deal with now that, you know, Fuka is not in the idol industry anymore. Because still, I remember going back to like when we got to the halfway point of this show, I was thinking Fuka was eventually going to go back and become an idol and we she would have used her skills um, that she did of working at an aquarium and such, but no, like, when she said she fell in love with it, and we saw her again, and everything, yeah, that just told me, yeah, she's, she doesn't want to be an idol anymore, and, you know, I'm still happy that she made that decision, yeah, I think there probably are times where she kind of regrets it, especially seeing those high heels, and saying goodbye to them for the final time, because the fact is, she didn't stand on stage with those heels on, and so she's giving them to Ruka to just have strength. Because something doesn't tell me that her and Ruka are the same shoe size, so of course that's not going to happen, so she can't wear them. But seriously, Fuka did a damn good job this week. I mean, maybe in a way after her, you know, coming back to television for one episode, maybe sparked her interest in it. I'm not real, like, I'm like 5% sure on that. Because of the fact is even though she just said, I love this job, I think, you know, she she's so completely as of right now, 19 episodes in, she is 100% committed to the job and she's like, okay, yeah. I'm officially, once again, 100% sure that I have moved on from, you know, Idol. It's almost like she will still love being an Idol, even though she, you know, eventually, you know, left. And I think even if someone else besides Ruka or anyone else that she knows from the Idol industry comes to say hi to her, you know, she'll, she'll welcome them with open arms no matter what. I don't think she would feel like... I need to go back and try to, you know, prove myself. Because if she really wanted to, she would have taken that movie role that she got by the end of the first half of the show. But now I think she's just more accepting of, like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. This is where I am truly myself. I'm happy. I don't have to stress. I don't feel like running away from home again. This is that and the third. Like, she's truly found, like where and who or and how she belongs in the world this was like just a damn good episode like oh my god the best girl you did such a damn good job oh so happy but other than that guys that's my reaction view towards episode 19 of the aqua top on white sand if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next thursday for episode 20 Bye, guys.